Welcome back to another live here with Design Bundles. We are so excited because we are working with everything sublimation today. So if you guys are beginning or if you guys are a beginner to sublimation or even if you are a sublimation pro, you guys are going to love this. I'm going to give you guys some tips and tricks. We are going to play around with some screen print confetti today. We have four projects for you. I'm using the Cricut Mug Press today as well as our bigger heat press back here as you guys can see. So we're going to do those. We've got a pillow. We've got a t-shirt tons of fun stuff. Now I want to go ahead and mention, don't forget to join our Facebook community group where you guys have access to dollar deals, freebies, tons of advice. And uh, so definitely don't miss out. Make sure you guys check it out. It is linked down below. You guys will find it in the comments or the description. So let's go ahead and dive right in. <music> Now, I also want to mention that today we are doing a giveaway. So in the comments down below, you guys want to use the hashtag bundle for a chance to win. So today we are giving away the bundle that I am using. So today we are using a huge bundle and I'm going to share my screen here in just a little bit. So let me go ahead and finish getting some things prepped up here. As you guys are joining, let me know where you guys are from so uh, we can definitely, I would love to know all of that information. So I'm going to actually bring this back up here so you guys can see me. And then uh, I'm going to go over this bundle a little bit. So like I said, as you guys are joining in today, tell me where you guys are from. Let me know, is it cold where you're at or is it warm? Now, also, I want to talk about the new release that is coming from Cricut. So sound down in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts. Are you guys interested in any of the new presses that came out today? Um, we definitely want to know. Now, definitely keep it user friendly. Everybody gets along, but we just want to know your thoughts. Mine is, I will tell you, out of all of the presses, I am so excited about the hat press. So you guys stay tuned. I'm definitely going to snag it on Sunday. I'm also going to try to snag the new um, the th Easy Press 3, if we can say that. 10 times fast, right? So the new Cricut Easy Press 3, I'm going to grab that for you guys too, so we can test it out, see is it worth the upgrade. Um, it's probably more likely, you know, just the new, as you guys are purchasing them, that's the new one that's out. But my biggest thing is going to be that hat press. I think it's going to be controversial about that auto press. Um, but I definitely think my initial reaction was, wow, that was super duper expensive. But then now that I've put more time into it, if they're trying to hit the market um, for, say, for example, small businesses, a auto press is, ranges from $1,200 to $2,000. So maybe they're playing in that. So it's something that's not for everybody. So I'll be interested to check that out. Don't know if we'll be purchasing one or not. So stay tuned on that. But for sure, hat the hat press videos will be coming soon. All right, so let's go ahead and go over the bundle we are using today. Now remember, use hashtag bundle for a chance to win this entire bundle. We'll do a giveaway at the end. If you guys have any questions along the way as well, make sure that you guys drop them in the comments. Uh, Brittany is down there. She can definitely help you as well, but we'll do a Q&A at the end as well. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you guys so much for joining. All right, so the bundle that we are using today is right here. This is the Motivational Craft Bundle Volume 1. So it comes with a ton of stuff. You have 30 days left on this bundle here, so definitely check it out. I'm going to go ahead and go through a few of these, and I'll show you the bundles that I'm actually using within this bundle. Um, so you guys can see it's only $21. It's going to come with all of these things here. And as you guys can see, it's a ton of bundles within this big bundle. Um, you have fonts in here. We have SVGs. We have PNGs, which we're um, using some of the sublimation files today. Lots of goodies. Like I said, you can see we've got self-love bundles, um, all sorts of fun stuff. So I'm just kind of scrolling through here. We have things to make stickers. I want to show you guys, this is one of the designs that I'm actually using today. It is so cute. It says, make life a darling adventure. A daring, not darling, daring adventure. I can't talk today. It's Tuesday. I'm thrown off because we're live on a Tuesday. So I'm actually going to be using an iridescent pillowcase for this one today. So I thought we could make this for that sweet girl. You know, whenever you're in your teen years and you're just struggling to make it through school, I thought this would be a great gift for a kiddo to give that, it, them that inspiration each morning. So we are going to be working with this design. As you guys can see, you could throw it on a t-shirt, you could throw it on a mug, water bottle, all sorts of fun things. I'm going to go ahead and back it back up here really quick, and I'm going to show you guys a few more. This is another one that we're using today. So I'm using this bundle right here. This came with six designs in itself, and I'm going to use this along with that screen 
screen print confetti to kind of show you that little combo. These would be great for those bleach t-shirts. So if you guys got the blues or the purples and then you did like that um, paintbrush effect or even the splatter, um, this would be so cute to use with the bleach, like I said. Hopefully you guys can't hear outside. I think the trash guys out there are picking up. So I'm going to go ahead and keep on scrolling. You guys can see these on tote bags. This is the design I'm using today. Um, you can put these on pillowcases, um, just all sorts of fun things, hoodies, lots and lots of fun things to do. These. Once again, this is the design I'm using. Let's go ahead and back it up here and check out a few more while we're in here. I'm going to scroll up here. This one right here absolutely love this bundle. I can see myself throwing this stuff on everything. This one's really cool. This one's for mental health. So if you know a friend out there um, that you really want to help out that may be struggling with some mental health, this time of year, you guys know it's just such a struggle um, with our mental health and trying to get everything on deck and, and getting started with the new year, whether you guys are young or old, this thing is so cute. Love the colors, super duper trendy, these pastels, and it comes with some really fun designs. So you guys can see here that um, lots and lots of these fun designs here, super duper cute. Now this is the one, we're gonna be using this one here, the world is a better place with you in it. And then I'll probably do one on the back here. I love this one, it's okay to not be okay. So I may do that one on the back of the mug. I've been liking to do that to show you guys two different designs. But um, as you guys can see, tons and tons of cute ones. I was trying to see if it said within here. I know I'm just not seeing it, how many was in this one. But what I did was I actually printed it out, which I'll show you all in a minute. I printed out tons of these on one sheet using DesignScape. Um, so I can show you several of those designs. All right, so that was the other one. And like I said, there's just tons of these. This is such a big, big bundle within bundles inside the bundle. It's it's so cool. All right, so let's get ready to drop the camera and get started to make some of these crafts. All right, so let me go ahead and drop us down really quickly and we'll dive in. Like I said, as you guys are joining, tell me where you guys are from. Let me know what are you guys crafting today. I can see you hashtag bundles. I'm so excited. So don't forget to use hashtag bundle for a chance to win. And then we're going to do Q&A later. Um, also, make sure you guys join our Facebook group. We have an amazing community group where you guys have access to dollar deals. You're going to have giveaways. You're going to get inspiration from other crafters as well. Plus, you can get help from us if you guys need it there. Um, definitely check it out. We have it in the description and in the comments. All right, so let's start with, I'm going to do the mug last. We're going to start with our big heat press. So let's go ahead and go over the information really quickly. So the supplies that I'm using today is I've got my printed designs. I use my Sawgrass SG-1000 because I did some bigger prints, which I'll talk about these here in just a second. I did some bigger prints here. So I use some of my 11 by 17. Um, I've got some scissors here. You could use a paper trimmer. Uh, we've got the screen print confetti. Now I have to give a huge shout out. I've used these on a video in the past. We have a couple videos, I do believe, using this stuff. It is so cool. And this stuff is from Glitter Reflections. I got it from Etsy. I do believe we have a link down below. Now she was so, so sweet and she's seen our video. So she sent us over some more samples to try. So I was so excited about that. So you guys can see all of those fun colors inside. Now this one right here, I think I'm going to use on the tote bag. Um, these, if you guys don't know what screen print confetti is, basically this is screen print and they've chopped it up into small pieces. We also have a DIY video showing you how to make your own, but what's really cool is you can combine this with your heat transfer vinyl, as well as sublimation, just to give it that extra. So there's that one. This is the color I'm using today with our t-shirt. So I'm going to show you guys, this is Ursula those colors. This one almost seems like it has some iridescence in it. The other one is Pandora, just in case you guys are wondering. And then you guys can get some solids. Like this baby blue, it's so cute. It is called Bibbidi Bobbidi Blue. So cute. I'll open that and show y'all really quickly. And then the last one I want to show you, there's some other, you know, single colors, obviously tons of different ones. They even have gold and silver. So I wanted to try the couple pops of gold in there today. So we've got our screen print confetti. I have a coffee mug to go along with our Cricut mug press. I have a towel to set that on. I also have a pressing pillow because today we are gonna do a zipper pouch and I'm gonna show you guys how to avoid your zipper and your seams today. So we're gonna do that. I have this iridescent pillowcase. So if you guys know, there is a lot of sublimation blanks out there on the market. 
And this is one of them. This is a really cool, hopefully you guys are picking this up. This is a white pillowcase with iridescent. So imagine that with that super cute design I was talking about for a little girl's room. So, so cute. All right. So I've got that. I've got the zipper pouch. I've got a t-shirt. Today I'm using the Cricut blanks because they're so easy to find. I love using those for y'all because you can go down to Michael's, Joanne's, Hobby Lobby, all of those things to grab those. Uh, but feel free to use whatever t-shirts you want to. I've got some heat tape. I said I got scissors as well as my bigger A to Z um, press today. All right. So that's a 15 by 15. So we are going to go ahead. And also I have, when we go to use the screen print confetti, I do have some parchment paper. All right. So I think I've went over all of my supplies here. So let's start off with our t-shirt. Like I said, I'm going to save my mug press for last because I'm going to swap out um, plugging those in. So that way we don't overheat our camera here. So we are going to start off with, let me show you the designs first, actually. So these are the designs I'm using for the mug. This is that one I was showing you for the mental health and I used our program DesignScape. If you guys want to see this at the end of the video, when we do Q and A, let me know. I'll open that up and show you how I did this. I've done a few videos on this. It is so easy to combine all of these. So that way you can make multiple mugs and utilize that paper. So there's all those super cute designs. I love this one as well. And then also wanted to show you guys too something about, say for example, if you guys are using a sawgrass and you guys get to your print manager and it asks you to use polyester or ceramic or metal, does it matter which one you choose? And the answer is yes. I'm going to show you that today. So I printed out these designs. Give me one second. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So I print out this one. This is the, the pillow. So cute. I printed out this one two more because I think I made this one just a little bit too big. So I printed it out just in case a few more times, but I also printed it out over here. So this is the one for our t-shirt that I was talking about. And then this is the one for our tote, <laughs> tote bag. Come back here. This is the one for our tote bag. So I wanted to show you guys, this is like an SVG. I think this is an SVG as well, but just because they're an SVG, SVG does not mean you can't use them as a PNG. So you can put this on a t-shirt with heat transfer vinyl, or you can also do it like this. So tons of cool things to do. So I wanted to show you guys, and I'm hoping you guys will see this on camera. All right. Let me try to see if I can do it this way. Well, I'm going to do it this way. Hopefully you guys can see this. Can you guys tell that the image on the left, this one right here is lighter. The one on the right is a ceramic mug. Hopefully you guys are picking this up and hopefully you guys can see this. This one right here is the polyester settings. This one right here is a ceramic mug. The reason why there is a difference for metal, ceramic, all of those things is it depends on how much ink the printer needs to print out. So say for example, if I'm doing all polyester t-shirts but I was always choosing the ceramic, I'm wasting that ink. See how much more ink it took to um, print this out compared to this one right here? So it is very important to choose those proper settings um, whenever you go through those steps. So just because now I can definitely press this, but I'm probably not going to get um, the quality I would have if I would put this on the mug compared to this one that was polyester. So I'm going to get a better um, press if I had chose those proper settings. So definitely wanted to go over that today since we're talking about all things sublimation. All right. So there's our designs. So we're going to start off with our t-shirt. All right. Now I'm going to do the screen print confetti on the t-shirt as well as the tote, but, or the zipper bag, if you will, but I'm going to do the, the screen print confetti after I sublimate both of them because we got to drop that temperature. Okay. So we'll go over that in a minute. Now my big heat press, I have it set 385 for 40 seconds. What I did was I went by, since I'm using Cricut's t-shirt, I went by their heat settings. So I'm doing 385 for 40 seconds because sometimes you can burn these t-shirts. So I'm going to use their settings. All right. So here's our big print. I also wanted to point out, you guys see that I threw these on here. So I knew that I was doing a t-shirt. I knew that I was doing a tote zipper bag. I knew that I was doing a mug, which I couldn't use the mug because this is, this is ceramic, but I can actually throw this on a zipper pouch if I wanted to. So all of these things are polyester. I could throw all of these on one sheet. So I'm not wasting that paper. All right, so let's go ahead and get our t-shirt here. So a few things that we need to prep up. We need to pull out moisture and then we also need to use our lint roller. So I'm gonna use the lint roller first. <laughs> I'm dropping everything today, guys. So as you guys are joining, make sure you guys are using hashtag bundle for a chance to win this entire bundle that I'm using today. The entire thing, guys, not just these ones, the entire bundle. So 
you're going to choose a lucky winner at the end. So what we want to do, you never want to skip this step when it comes to sublimation. It is super important because if you don't, that lint will actually, you'll sublimate. You'll get little bitty blue dots. And then also, if you sublimate on top of that lint, that lint is blocking the t-shirt from the ink. So it's very important not to skip that step. You know, sometimes when we start crafting, we think that we can take the easy route. We do it. We all do it, right? We try to skip pieces. This is definitely one you don't want to skip. So definitely, <laughs> highly recommend don't skip it, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and let roll everything here. Now, what I really wanted to do, but I'll have to do it in another video separate from all of this, is I want to do a bleach t-shirt. We want to combine a bleach t-shirt where we put this on a bleach t-shirt and screen print. We want to do that, so we'll try to do that for you guys very soon. All right, so now let's go ahead and take this over to the heat press. I'm going to bring you guys back up here. Now, whenever I go over here, it's... Um, Whenever I go over here, you guys can't really hear me, so I may be super quiet. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to swing this open. I'm going to press it for five seconds. Slide this in here. Now what, now, what I would normally do is I would actually, in my own personal, if I was crafting this, right, personal, and I wasn't teaching it, what I would do is I would actually leave it on the press. I would find my center and put my paper there, tape it down over there. Just because whenever you move, I tape this and I move it over there, I do have the risk of shifting. And so if you're doing this obviously by yourself, I highly recommend that you do that stuff on the press. Now that does take a little bit of getting used to making sure that your t-shirts lined up and all of those things. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna drop you guys back down. That way you guys can see everything here. All right, now if you need to go over it again with some lint, with a lint roller, definitely feel free to do so. To find the center of our design, what I'm gonna do is fold this in half. And I have centered this on the paper, so I know that this thing is in half. I'm gonna make sure we have it faced up. And then we're gonna go ahead and pinch this. All right, there we go. So now what we're gonna do is I'm just going to make sure my design's down around three fingers or so. And then we're gonna to start to tape this down. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my heat tape. I'm using the Cricut heat tape. You guys know that I love to use it because I can throw it on a roller like this. All right. And then we're going to get our other side. There we go. Thank you guys once again for joining us today. We are so excited to be crafting with you. All right, so I'm going to bring the camera back up here. And now we're going to get ready to press this. So hopefully you guys can hear me just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and put this on here. I'm gonna go ahead and take my parchment paper. And so now we're gonna press it for 385 for that 40 seconds. So you can sublimate between 385 to 400 degrees for 40 seconds to 60 seconds, depending on your t-shirt, depending on the material. So it is really easy to burn. For example, like cotton, things like that, they can burn pretty quickly. So definitely make sure um, and pay attention to that. You'll learn as you go. So once we're done with this, we're gonna pull it off and then we'll get ready for our zipper bag. Hopefully you guys can see this. I've filled that. How cute is this? Super, super cute. Love this design. Adorable. I love these colors as well. I'm going to go and drop the camera really quick. So hopefully you guys can see this a little bit better. So hopefully you guys can see that. How cute are these colors? It almost reminds me of the tie-dye shirts we do. I'm going to spread that out just a little bit. So cute. I absolutely love it. Like I said, it reminds me of those tie-dye t-shirts we do because how this design comes on the outside, so cute. And then 
I'm going to use that Ursula, like I said, this one right here, just to show y'all. I'm going to do that here in just a minute. I think these colors along this is going to look really, really cute. Or if you are going to do, thank you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Or if you guys were going to do like a solid color, color like this, like this teal would have been super cute as well. All right, so let's set this out of the way and let's work on that zipper bag. We'll come back to it with a screen print confetti in just a second. I'm so glad that you guys are loving it. We'll come back to it in just a second. All right, so same thing with this zipper bag. We want to remove any sort of lint. You do not want to skip this step. So you really want to make sure you're getting into the bag, just like so. There we have it. Now what we're gonna do for this one is I'm using the pressing pillow. So a pressing pillow like this, this one I believe is like a six by seven. Let me grab my handy dandy ruler here. I tried to find one. I do believe we've linked one down below for you guys. I found a few different characters. Um, so one of them, I think was a fox. I tried to link it down below for you guys. So I think this is eight. If you're going by the foam inside, this is eight by six. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this inside. I'm going to make sure my phone's all the way down there. I'm going to put this inside of zip, the zipper bag. Now, if you guys have like the Cricut pad, the smaller one, you guys could probably fit that in there as well. I've done that many a times. So what this is going to do is this is going to allow that zipper just to kind of go easy into that foam there. So this is going to be perfect. So now we're going to take this design here and we are going to get ready to tape it down. All right. I'm going to put this in here just like so. I'm trying to make sure that everything is going to be on board. Hopefully I don't lose any ghosting here because I think that's falling off of that foam. But I think it's going to be okay. So what we're doing is we're putting this design right here. This one says, be real, not perfect. So cute. So we're going to put this here. This would be perfect for um, any girl growing up as well. This would be great for a makeup bag. So we're going to go ahead and get a couple pieces of tape here. Get ready to tape it down. Once again, don't forget to join our Facebook group. You guys, you guys will have a ton of fun and you guys are going to get a lot of inspiration over there. All right. So now what we're going to do, we're going to take this back over to the heat press. All right. So once again, you guys can't hear me over there, but I'm going to take this over here with this one. I'm going to go ahead and kind of get it on here like so. I'm going to cover it with our parchment. All right, and we're going to press it. So that pressing pillow is going to help that zipper. Like I said, it's going to fall right inside of there. We're pressing that 385 for 40 seconds as well. So while we wait for that, we'll look at our t-shirt one more time. Look at how cute this is. I love it so much. So you guys see what I'm seeing? With the bleach, with those colored t-shirts, so cute. The 50-50 t-shirts, that would be adorable. All right, so we are almost done here. We have... 12 seconds left. And then, like I said, I'm actually going to put this back on the press and do the screen print confetti over there. All right, so I'm gonna bring this back over here really quickly and show you guys. Be real and not perfect. So that's really going to help you to be able to press that. I'm going to go ahead and drop that camera once again, just to show you guys how cute is this. So using these ones right here, your solids, where it's the um, black that you would normally use with like SVGs. So, so cute. Pencil pouch, makeup bag. And this is also the zipper um, pouches that are from Cricut, but there is lots of blanks out there on the market, guys. And if you guys go to, say, for example, you stop at TJ Maxx or you stop at Target and you see a bag that is made of polyester, you can sublimate it. So there you guys go. All right. So now let's get ready for the screen print confetti. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys this one so then I can move it over but the t-shirt's going to be so much easier for me to do at the press so first of all we have to drop our temperature so the temperature what's really cool about these ones right here she has all the information for you so it is 325 to 350 for 10 to 12 seconds 
So what's perfect about sublimation is this is going to bring it out of that sublimation stage. So whenever you go to press this, it's not going to reactivate your inks because it's not the sublimation temperatures, if you will. So I'm going to put it at 325. And I'm going to drop it to that 10 seconds. Okay, so while that is dropping, so like I said, I'm going to drop that to 325 for 12 seconds is what I'm going to do since I'm dropping it to the 325. I'm going to drop you guys back down and we're going to prep this guy up. So I'm so glad that you guys are loving this. Um, let me know in the comments below, have you guys tried scram print confetti yet? Um, we have other videos here on the channel. So if you guys want to see uh, more in depth with this, you guys can definitely check that out. Thank you so much, Betsy. All right. So I'm going to bring this back in. So it's important because we are pressing this. I want to make sure that I'm avoiding the zipper. Now, what I could do since I'm not sublimating and I don't, I could avoid the zipper by another way. I'm going to show you. So what we're going to do is when I go to put this in the press, I'm going to put it on the edge of the press like this, and I'm going to press it here. So that way I'm not pressing that zipper. So this is another way I'm going to show you how to do it. So to prep this up and get it ready, though, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn it in this direction so we can hang this off. We're going to go ahead and pick out our screen print confetti. And I think I'm actually going to turn this way so y'all can see. We are going to use this one right here. So this one is the Pandora, like I said. So, so cute. Love it. One thing you can do is you can put your shaker and you can definitely just shake these around like this to get the little smaller pieces. Look at how fun that is. Or you can pull it off to get bigger flakes. It reminds me of fish food, <laughs> to be honest. If you guys want to know like what the it's like texture and things, just kind of the look, it reminds me of fish food. Now, what's really cool is I can actually go on top of my sublimation design and it's not going to hurt anything. I can put this wherever I want to. So I think something about like that looks good to me. Something like that. I think I'm going to roll with it. All right. There we go. So cute. Then once you get it down, you can move these around. These are not sticking anywhere. So I can move this wherever I want to. Maybe even put a few more. Okay, I think I'm happy. I say that and then I just keep going back in. It's never enough. All right, so I think that's good. Now, um, what I'm going to do for this, you want to protect your heat press. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go back on top with a second sheet to protect it. So I think we're almost there. Let me check the heat press. We're dropped down about 368. So while we wait, I'm going to go ahead and I'll show you some of these colors once again. So you guys let me know if you guys are loving this. I've seen confetti before, um, used it, but have not tried it yet. You definitely have to check it out. It is a ton of fun. But you guys see what I'm talking about, like the fish food? You know how they come in like the flakes? <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. And I'm telling you, it's so much fun. One thing I was thinking, actually, let me pull this back off. I was wanting to put a few pieces like this black right here with the gold would have been so cute. Let's put a few pieces of gold in there just to see how that would look. Or just, just a teensy tiny pieces of the gold. I'm going to sprinkle those in there. All right. Something about like that looks good. Does it, it does look like fish food. It definitely looks like fish food. This one right here is really cute. That bibbity bobbity blue. I'm telling you guys, I'm hoping you guys are picking up that true color there. It is gorgeous. I love it. So, so cute. But this one right here, like I said, we're going to use next the Ursula. It kind of reminds me of some iridescent. So I don't know if I'm seeing that correctly or not. We'll find out once we press it, but it looks a little iridescent. Fish food for sure. Yes, it is cold. Um, hashtag bundle. Um, so once again, while we wait for that press, um, I'll tell you guys, make sure you guys use the hashtag bundle if you guys want a chance to win the entire bundle from today. The entire thing will be one lucky winner and you guys will get to start crafting with it today. So hashtag bundle to enter for that. You have to be watching us on um, Facebook or YouTube live. Now, um, we are also going to do Q&A here in a little bit. So if you guys have any questions or Brittany is in the comments and she's down there answering those as you guys already know and love her so much. Um, and then also 
the community group. So what's really fun about the community group, we have hundreds of thousands of people over there hanging out and they're sharing their crafts of what they're doing with these designs. And it is so cool and so inspiring. Like I have got some inspiration for those, for some videos coming up. I'm so, so excited. I love everybody from the group. So if you guys are from the group, Welcome, welcome. We're so excited to have you guys. Um, you guys are going to see those dollar deals over there. You're going to see some freebies. So definitely check it out. Um, like I said, Brittany has that down in the comments for you guys. I think we're almost ready. Let me check one more time. I think we're at 343. We're going to roll with it, okay? Because it's between 350. So we're just going to start rolling with it. So I'm going to go ahead and get this right. So I'm going to very carefully move this because I just wanted to show you all the confetti. But once again, when I do that t-shirt, I'm going to do it over there just so I can make sure I'm getting it where I want it. Because if you try to do it on your table and move it, you're probably going to lose a lot of it. So it's better to do it over there. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and carefully lift this guy up. We're going to take it now first. I'm actually going to open this up. Now, once again, you could definitely use the um, pressing pillow for this, or you can let the zipper hang off. And that's what we're going to do today. All right, come on, buddy. As you guys may have noticed, I brought the pressure up a little bit more to really push that screen print confetti. Um, so I brought that pressure up just a little bit. And this time I have that zipper hanging off. I'm going to go ahead and try to press it. I'm going to leave it off my, off my thing. Okay. I'm pressing it one more time just for a few more seconds. So as you guys can see, it's trying to slide right off my press. I'm gonna bring it over here for the big reveal. And here we go. So you're just going to slowly peel back that parchment paper. Some of it may stick here and it's not going to stick to this and that's okay. And then whatever is remaining is going to stick to it just like so. How cute is this? So what I could do is I can flip it over and I can actually sprinkle some of that confetti on the back side and do the entire bag if I wanted to. So it's a ton of fun. And then any little pieces that are remaining that didn't stick, you can go back there once it's dry um, and just like that. So you can wash this over and over again. So it's just like a screen print t-shirt. So it's using those inks on here and it's just so cute. It just brings it up a whole nother level, you know? Thank you so much. I'm so glad that you guys are loving it. All right, so there is our zipper bag, super cute. Now a little tip from me, I don't like to mess around with my zipper um, while everything's still cooling because those zipper pieces are hot and you could mess up the functionality of that zipper if you had it in your heat press, say for example, with your pressing pillow. Okay, so we are going to get this out of our way. And I'm actually going to go ahead and get me two new pieces of parchment paper. So one second. All right. So if you guys get any pieces like this all over it, like this, if you guys get any pieces, you want to toss this out because it's obviously going to come off on something else or possibly your heat press. So we're just going to toss these two pieces out. Thank you so much. I'm so glad that you guys are liking it. Okay, get that paper out of our way. Thank you so much, Carolyn. Thank you, thank you. I'm so glad that you guys are loving it. All right, so like I said, what I'm gonna do, and this is what I would recommend if you guys are doing it, do this over on the heat press so that way you know um, where it's landing and you're not losing the pieces. Now, I don't need to put a piece of parchment on the bottom unless, say, for example, I was working with a baby onesie. You want to protect the lower platen. My t-shirt's covering the whole thing. So I'm not going to do that. I'm only going to use one on the top. So I'm going to take these pieces with me. And then the one I'm using today is this one right here. I thought about putting a few pieces of gold, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Let's take this over to the press. Once again, you may hear me at a distance, but I'll try to communicate from over there. All right, so let's go over here. I'm going to swing it open. 
And once again, so I'm loading this and I need to protect, I need to protect my heat cotton because this is sublimation ink, but it should not reactivate the inks between 325 and that 350. What I'm doing, hopefully you guys can see me. What I'm doing is I'm going to sprinkle some on this one side, scoot it over because it's hitting my um, my sewing machine and there's not enough room over there. And then I'm going to scoot it over and get the rest. Hopefully you guys can just watch and hang out. So I have covered the entire thing and I'm actually gonna grab two pieces of parchment because I need it to cover the whole kit and caboodle. I'm gonna grab one more. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover my entire thing. I wanna make sure I'm protecting that heat flat. So what I'm actually going to do, since I know that I pressed it twice with the zipper bag, I'm going to go ahead and press it again for a second time. Once again, I've got that pressure up to really push down. You need that pressure. You guys really need that pressure for this to really work. You can use your Cricut Easy Presses. You just want to give some pressure, so you can definitely do that as well. You can even do it with your little mini irons, so definitely feel free to do that. All right, so I've turned that off and I've turned on my mud press. So here you guys go. Now I, I added a lot, <laughs> but here you guys go. How cool is this? So you guys can hopefully see all of that around. You could definitely sprinkle this in smaller little pieces if you wanted to. You could bring in multiple colors. Now this was a mixture and then I did add in some of that gold. So I'm going to drop you guys down so hopefully you guys can see this a little better. I'm going to bring this up so hopefully you guys can see that. So see those little uh, gold splatters right here? Hopefully you guys can catch some of that iridescent. It's super cool. Thank you guys so, so much. I'm glad that you guys are liking it. And then I'll spread this out so hopefully you guys can see it a little bit better. All right. There we go. How cute is this? Now, keep in mind, I could definitely keep going. So I could definitely scoot down on the t-shirt, put it back in the press, sprinkle some small sprinkles here and there. Um, flip the t-shirt over. What I would do is put a piece of parchment paper in between here, throw it back in and get some on the back side, and I would protect my lower plat at that time because I was putting this against it. So you could definitely do as little or as much as you want to, but there's that iridescent. So you guys can see that. See those gold pieces? That was so cool. And like I said, she has it in silver as well. It's just a ton of fun. I definitely think it's a new element to play around with. Um, to spruce up your sublimation, you can use it with your heat transfer vinyl. So you're going to do the exact same thing and you're going to apply that heat transfer vinyl and then apply this. Or if you wanted to, you could definitely sprinkle this on the outsides and then apply that heat transfer vinyl. But um, you guys can feel free to play around with that however you want to. I'm so glad that you guys are loving that. And then I'll bring this one back in really quickly. And something that I forgot to do really quick, I'm actually gonna turn back off the mug press and I'm gonna turn back on the big heat press because I forgot to press the pillow. So we gotta go backwards, just a second. So I'm gonna get 385. We're doing 
All right. All right, it won't take no time to, to bump that back up. So we'll give it just a minute. Now, while that's bumping up, we'll go ahead and just work on the pillowcase. So just to recap, we've got the zipper bag so far with that screen, I can't speak today, screen print confetti, tons of them to choose from. As you guys can see here, you can DIY this stuff yourself, make your own. So if you guys are into screen print, um, you guys probably already have some screens and some pies that you guys can already use for this. And um, we've got a whole DIY video, like I said, it's just a ton of fun. So here's that t-shirt again, just so you guys can imagine it, you know, wearing this thing. It's so cute. Tons of fun. So imagine like the Easter, if you guys are making any of those Easter t-shirts for the kiddos this year, you can spruce it up. Now she is super fast. Um, she ships very, very, very quick. So if you order it, you're going to have it within a few days. She's really, really quick. Um, and I do highly recommend her. We have used her stuff in the past, but she was super sweet and sent us a few more to check out. All right. So I am going to get ready for a focus. So for the next one here, we are using this super fun iridescent. I'm hoping you guys are being able to really pick up that iridescent here. Um, maybe whenever I drop it down, you guys will pick that up a little bit more. You could also do this on a canvas. So you could do this on, there is canvas um, pillowcases that you can sublimate on. Um, you could do all sorts of fun ones. So the same way I'm doing it today, you could do this across the board. Say, for example, if you run down to your local store, you're probably going to find a polyester pillowcase where your, um, obviously your bedding stuff is. And what you could do is a no sew. You can definitely cut that down and then sew it up with your um, hot glue gun because there is fabric glue. If you guys do know how to use a sewing machine, you can sew it up like that too. So you can definitely cut down pillowcases and it'll work the same. Now, what we're going to do when you're working with a pillowcase, make sure and find out where that zipper is. So right here's mine. You want that to be the bottom of your pillow. So that's very, very important um, because whenever you go to put this on your sofa or your bed, you don't want that zipper to be up there at the top. So we're going to make sure where that's at. That's going to be our step one. And then for our next piece, I want to uh, go ahead and get this ready to press. So I'm going to drop you guys down once again. So a few things here to prep this up. Hopefully you guys can check out that iridescent here. I love these things. It's so cool. And whenever you press the design, y'all will sit here in a minute. It's going to turn our design and it's going to look iridescent. So it's going to make our design look iridescent. I've done these on tote bags before. It is so much fun to use products like this. Now, Whenever you do this, depending on how big your design is, you may want to use a pressing pillow. I'm going to attempt to use my Cricut pad like I've done in the past. So I'm going to have to bring that pressure down just a little bit. So I'm going to grab that pressing pillow really fast. I'm going to attempt to see. So you guys, if you are wondering, can you use these as pressing pillows? Yes. Um, so you can definitely pop these right inside of here. So if you guys were using your Cricut Easy Press to sublimate with, you could definitely do that as well. Um, Because some of you may want to try to pile it on top like this, and that would be okay as well. Or you can pop it on the inside. I'm going to attempt for this one just to kind of set it on top. And that's just what I'm going to do. So once again, you want to remove any sort of lint. So you're going to roll over it with that lint roller, just like that. And because of this sort of surface, it kind of has a slick surface. I'm also gonna take my um, my clean cloth here and just wipe over it as well, just to remove any sort of oils or debris. I think you guys can kind of see a little bit of a rainbow there. So much fun. Now, remember, if you guys want a chance, if you guys are just now joining us, use hashtag bundle in the comments below for a chance to win this entire bundle I'm using today. All right, so for this one, we are using this design right here. I have to say, I found these scissors at Michael's this weekend. Look how pretty these colors are. These were in the sewing section, uh, but the color is so pretty. I just had to show y'all. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim down our next one. All right, here we go. And then this one right here, this would be really cool too. I really could have made this quite big. If you guys are using like the S... SG-1000 for the songgrass. You could put this on a 13 by 19. So I really could have stretched this all the way across the pillow if I wanted to. But for this, I use the 11 by 17. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our heat 
tape here and we're going to get ready to tape it down. I am so glad that you guys are enjoying this. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. We are so, so excited to have you. Um, what I am going to work on, I'm going to try, I'm going to get it. I'm going to bring in my extra mic next time, my lavalier. So that way we can have it at the heat press and I don't sound so distant. So uh, forgive me for that. I thought about it after the fact today. So I'm going to go ahead and check on our press and just see what temperature we're at. Right. We are ready to go. So let's go ahead and switch our camera back up here. Now, once again, I'm going to need a new piece of parchment. Because it's very important. You definitely want to protect your um, upper platen. So if you guys are new to sublimation, your inks could definitely transfer over to your platen. So what I always like to do is just get a piece and you're going to cover the top of your design. So what we're going to do, once again, I could insert this in the pillow or just have it underneath. I need to adjust the pressure. So let's take this over here. Actually, let me clean up my mess first. All right, and drop this down here just so it's not in our way. So y'all bear with me for one second. All right, there we go. There we go. All right, so here we go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this over here and I'm gonna adjust that pressure like I said. All right, so to do so, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this. I'm actually gonna, I'm going to grab one more parchment just because I want to protect that pillowcase because it is, it's almost like a plasticky feeling. What you can do to protect that is to completely cover it with blowout paper or parchment paper. So I'm going to do this 385 for 40 seconds. I'll have to catch it because I put it on 60, um, but we're going to do that same 385 for 40 seconds. All right, so we've got about 25 more seconds. So you guys let me know, are you guys enjoying these crafts? Um, let me know if you guys are going to recreate these, if you guys are going to test out that screen print confetti. I definitely want to know. Now, as soon as we're done with this, we're going to knock out that coffee mug. We got about eight more seconds to go. And then here are those designs that we're gonna be using for our mugs today. All right, so you guys get ready. I'm trying to not burn myself because it's super hot, but here it is. I'm going to drop this down so you guys can see it a little bit better. And hopefully you guys can really see this on that iridescent. It is gorgeous. I love it. I'm trying to let it cool down just a little bit because it is hot, but what's really, really cool, and you guys will see that whenever I bring it up, is it has made the design look iridescent. Can you guys see that? How cool is that? It gives it like this pearl effect. It's really, really neat. Now, if I can find this exact one, I will definitely, uh, we'll put it in the description after the show. So this is something that I found right before we went live that I still actually had one and um, I wanted to show it to you guys. So if I can find these, I'll definitely link them below for you guys. It is so much fun. Now I could not find before I got started as well, a pillow form to go in here. So I didn't get to show you guys, but whenever I do the photos, so stay tuned for that. You guys will see it on Instagram at some point in time. I will have something in here so you guys can really see this put together, but absolutely love how that came out. So make life a daring adventure. So, so cute. All right. In the meantime, we are turning on the mug press and we are going to get ready to press. So while that is heating up, we're going to recap really quickly. We're going to go ahead. Thank you so much, Belle. I'm so glad that you are loving this. Isn't it so, so cute? So I don't want to cover it. So I want to make sure you guys can really see that. So cute. Now, another thing is you can do any of these. So for example, if I wanted to pop this design on a pillowcase like this, or even the other design, I could definitely do so. Now I wouldn't put screen print confetti on here 
because like I said, this is almost like a plastic texture and I'm not too sure if it would stick well at this moment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. I'm so glad that you guys are loving it. And then once again, here is that t-shirt with that screen print confetti. I'm um, just a ton of fun. It reminds me if you guys don't want to play around with bleach or, you know, tie dye or anything like that. And you guys want a really fun way to spruce up a t-shirt. Like I said, definitely check it out. It's a ton of fun. So there are those ones. So cute. So let's go ahead and get ready for our mug. So let's go over these designs right here. So, so cute. These ones are my favorite out of all of them. This is just kind of my vibes right now. So I have this whole, um, this is like these pastels. It's super trendy right now. It's gorgeous. Um, and there is a lot of sweet ones. So for example, um, this one right here, mental health is just as important as physical health. What I do sometimes, because you know the backwards, I'll flip it over so we can read it through this way. Um, be kind to your mind. Um, lots and lots of cute ones. Make yourself a, um, I think, it, let's see, hold on one second, a priority. And then it's okay to not be okay. So what I think I'm going to do today, I was telling you guys, if you guys are just now joining us, I want to show you once again, just a recap. It is very important. So if you guys own the Sawgrass printers, even if you guys have an Epson printer, it is very important if you don't want to waste a ton of ink. Um, it is important to have those proper settings. So for example, this one right here was printed on a polyester. And then this one right here is printed on a um, ceramic setting. So you guys can hopefully see that difference there. So it's much lighter for a polyester print. And then this one right here is much brighter for ceramic. So you need more ink depending on the substrate, for example, polyester versus ceramic. And so it's very important to use those proper settings because you can see I did not need very much ink when it came to the polyester where I needed a much uh, deeper um, and more ink with the ceramic. So these are all printed to go on ceramic. And what I did, like I said, if you guys definitely want to see this, I can show you guys that here in just a bit, how to use DesignScape along with, you can use this with your Epson printers, your Sawgrass printers to print all of these designs on one page. So this was a great big bundle. And this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven designs on one eight by 10. So I've heard my press is ready to go. So this is all of those designs on one eight by 10. So what I can do, say, for example, today, I'm only doing say this design and this design, I can put these in the drawer. They can set in the drawer for a year and I can press them whenever I want to. So it's definitely really cool. Now, what I did was I think I printed it too big. So I printed out again, a little bit smaller. So I threw it on another sheet and then um, I can definitely press these later. I can put these on a tumbler. I can put these on the zipper bags, all sorts of fun things. These would be cute on cell phone cases, keychains. Also, another thing I almost came down and showed you guys too, but I totally forgot to bring it was how super cute would these designs be on the air fresheners? So we have done an air freshener video here on the channel where you could put these um, to make your own air fresheners. And uh, this would be a ton of fun. So you could definitely put these on some super cute air fresheners to put in the car. You could do the same design on each side or do two different designs. And that was another one that I thought would be fun as well. This would also be cute if you did this on a, you know, your mouse pad and things like that too. Such a great way to have some positive words. All right. So this one here says the world is a better place without you in it. So you guys can see that there. So we're going to use this one. And then, like I said, I wanted to use, oh, I don't know. It's so hard. Should I use, you guys let me know quickly down below. Should I do it's okay? So number one design, it's okay not to be okay. Or should we do this second design, mental health, one with the cute little brain and hearts? So number two, if you guys want to see me press the one with the brain. Or number one, if you guys want to see me press the one, it's okay to not be okay. Number one or number two. You guys let me know and I will definitely... Um, go with what you guys want me to do. Okay, so I'm seeing number one, number one. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm seeing number one. All right, I think it's looking like it's going to be number one. Sweet, 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 number one. All right, you guys got it. We're going to do it. All right, here we go. Number one. So number one is right here. I think it's so cute. All right. We're going to trim this one down. And this is going to be cool, too, because it's just a very simple design. It's just real small and simple across the mug. It's going to be just awesome. All right. So now what we're going to do, once again, if you guys are new to sublimation, I'm throwing out some tips and tricks here. So this is going to be my tips and tricks 
for sublimating a mug. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get us prepped up here. We're going to scoot this in so hopefully y'all can see everything. I've got a towel here. So either bring in your Cricut Easy Press Pad or bring in a hand towel simply to set our mug on here in just a minute. So a few things that we need to do to prep up our mug is you want to take a lint-free cloth and you want to clean this up. You can, uh, you want to clean, I'm going to do one side at a time. So that way I'm not touching, you know, both sides here. So I'll, I'll just do one side at a time. Um, you can also use um, rubbing alcohol as well. And I like to keep it in a little spritzer bottle like this because it makes it so easy just to spritz some and then rub it out. But I have found just using the lint-free cloth like this, this is the eyeglass cloth, um, that it works just great. All right, so I think everything looks good there. Now, if you were only doing a single design, so say, for example, this is not a full wrap mug, I was only putting it on one side, what you need to do is determine, do you hold your mug in the right side when you drink your coffee? I don't know what's in there, so don't look in there. But do you hold it on the right side or do you guys hold it on the left? So if you hold your coffee mug on the left, you want to put it on this side here. And if you hold it on the right, you obviously want to put it on this side here. So you guys can see that there. So for me, I always drink my coffee like this, but obviously we're going to do one on each side. So the next thing is you want to take, you can take anything to prop this up. I'm going to use my little tape measure. And also really quickly before I skip ahead, this is a question I get all the time. How do you know where, where to place your design and how big it can be? So what you want to do is measure the very front of what you can see. So I know that I don't want to go any bigger than four inches wide because you don't want it to wrap around the side here. So I don't want it to go any bigger than four inches. And what I'm doing is I'm starting my line right about here. So probably about, I would say a quarter or a half inch away from that handle. And then probably about a quarter. And then for this area here, I don't want to go no bigger than about 3.25. You don't want to drag it four by four. That's the whole entire thing. So you probably want to stick around three inches, 3.2. Um, and no bigger than, you know, three and a half, four inches wide. So that's how you're going to measure that. And then we are ready to take this guy down. So you're going to take some heat tape here. So you just need two pieces that's going to go all the way down your design. And I'm actually going to place these here for a second. And I'm actually going to trim this down just a little bit more on my side so I can visually see what I've got going on here. All right. So you want to make sure your sides are nice and even because what happens is if I go to lay this on my mug and I've got more paper over here, I'm going to place this down and it may end up somewhere over here on the mug because I was going by over here. So you like to keep it nice and even, giving me enough room to add some tape. So I think this looks pretty good. All right. I think everything looks good there. So now we're going to tape down. So I'm going to tape down one side, make sure it's nice and straight. I'm going to get nice and straight there. And then we're just going to pull it nice and tight. So you don't want there to be any sort of gaps in here. There we go. We're going to pop it down just like so. And now let's go ahead and get the next one. So what you want to do whenever you're doing this, make sure you don't have any gaps across right here. So you want to make sure there's no gap in that paper. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and get this side. So once again, I'm going to go ahead and take that cloth and I'm going to go ahead and clean here. We are on our last project here, and then we're going to get ready for the Q&A. So I'll probably do Q&A while we are waiting on our mug press because it will be five whole minutes. And I'm actually going to cut this in half because I just realized I don't need it that long, so I'm going to cut this down. All right, once again, this is a super simple design. You could definitely do it at the bottom of the cup, nice and simple design, or you can center this up, which is what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to center this up. And then we're going to get one side down. And then once you get that one side down, you can go ahead and just pull nice and tight and tape. There you go. Once again, making sure there is no, um, no gaps. This is ready to press. So we're going to drop it down in our mug press and we are going to press it. So this is going to be for a whole five minutes. So while this is pressing, I'm going to go ahead and bring our camera up here and let's get ready for Q&A. All right, so let's go ahead and get ready for Q&A. I'm going to go ahead and get my mouse pad over here so we can see what we've got. I just don't understand the bleach thing and sublimate, sublimating. Do you treat the bleach part with something first, sublimation and the shirt, shirt shirt cotton? So whenever it comes to the bleach, it needs to still be like a 50-50 because you need at least the minimum and you're still going to get a lighter press, but it's good enough, honestly. So you're going to get 
you need a 50-50, 50 poly, 50 cotton. So what you're actually bleaching is the cotton and what you're sublimating is the poly. So what you're gonna do is you always want to, what's best is to, so you don't get burn marks, is to uh, sublimate it first and then come back and bleach. Whether you guys are doing the Mr. Bottle sprays or you guys are doing the brush strokes, um, I definitely have some videos coming on that very soon, so stay tuned. Um, but it's definitely a ton of fun. Now, the thing about it is, is you really want to start rinsing that out pretty quickly to get that bleach uh, to stop going once you start to see that white happening. And then um, you want to wash those. So it, it's definitely a process. It's a ton of fun. And a lot of people love them and a lot of people hate them. Um, but it's definitely just another, um, just another step to sublimation. It's a ton of fun. All right, so let's see, are those sublimation sprinkles? So these are actually not sublimation sprinkles. These are screen print confetti. So have you ever went down and you've purchased a t-shirt, say for example, for your local ball team or even from the store and it has this texture to it. Um, it it's not vinyl or HTV, it's screen print. So you may notice some big screen print stores um, locally or ink that, that if you don't know what's familiar with screen print and that's what it is, it's an ink. So it almost similar to like an acrylic paint, if you will, it's definitely not, but thicker. Um, so this is definitely very different from sublimation, but it's just a whole nother element. It's super cool. And what's cool is because you're going to sublimate and then this is not as high as it is for sublimation. So you can combine the two. All right. Can you try the confetti on a mug? I have not tried that, but if you guys want to see it, I'm down to try it. All right. Let's see here. Uh, can you use the infusible ink scraps at as the confetti? Um, yes, you can definitely do that. You can definitely do that for sublimation because that is sublimation. What I would actually do is the scrap pieces, I would tear them in little pieces. And yeah, you'd want to place them face down, make sure they're all face down. And you can definitely do that as um, like sprinkle confetti. That is so, so smart. All right, let's see here. Do you wash all of your clothes item before you sublimate? I do not. Um, I just sublimate. And you don't really have to worry about those so much as you do using heat transfer vinyl. Um, but I definitely do not. Especially polyester. I don't think it shrinks. Okay, let's see here. Do you have to put nothing on the inside before pressing the t-shirt? No, you do not. Way back in the day when I first got into sublimation, which was probably like 2017, 16, somewhere around there, I used to think you had to. You'd put a piece of parchment paper in between. Now, depending, some Epson printers, depending on the ink, because you're probably using way too much ink, so you're saturating that paper, it may bleed through the second layer. So if you are using an Epson, I highly recommend to just go ahead and be on the safe side. Now, if you're using sawgrass, it's controlled. So you definitely don't have to worry about it. All right, let's see. Is there a difference between the prints from the Sawgrass versus Epson? Um, I've just always been, I started out as a Sawgrass girl and I've always been because it is just the top of the line. So if you guys are wanting to get, um, you know, to go into it at a cheaper version, you can definitely go for Epson. But at the end of the day, uh, Sawgrass will always win over Epson. Let's see, with the HTV, should I press the confetti first? or the HTV. Um, you can actually do either or because what's gonna happen is that HTV is going to stick to the um, screen print. I would possibly do the HTV first just because, let me test that first just to be sure. I love to test stuff for you guys just to make sure we're not gonna have any peeling because you know how we can't layer um, basic HTV on top of glitter HTV? That could be the same. So let me let me do a test on that. Let's see, but bundles, what does the texture of the confetti once it's pressed? Is it bumpy? Um, actually, it's super, super smooth. So um, it's really smooth. It kind of gives me the texture of heat transfer vinyl, just small little pieces of heat transfer vinyl, honestly. All right, let's see. Do I use the same temp for the confetti I'm using as the Easy Press 2? Yes, ma'am. You're going to do the exact um, yes, ma'am, yes, sir, whichever. Um, I didn't even think I read the name first, but um, you definitely, uh, you can definitely do the exact same temp with your Cricut Easy Press or even a home iron. I would do a cotton setting. All right, let's see here. The, big, the biggest important thing is using pressure. So let's see here. Do you have any totally off topic while we wait? Where is the little pot? on the shelf from. I actually got that from TJ Maxx. All right, so let's go ahead and open this and we'll come back to Q&A in just a second. So let's go ahead and check this out. So I've got one side and the other. Now, if you guys were doing this at home, you guys always know I tell you guys, set it aside. You really wanna let this completely cool. This guy is 400 degrees and we wanna always craft and be safe. Number one, they do recommend it continues to sublimate, um, but I have found, I mean, even if you peel it off hot, but safety first. So you really wanna let it cool, like I said. 
Um, but for the sake of the video, we're going to peel it today. But uh, the handle does stay cool to the touch with mug presses, so you can hold that. But you want to be really careful if you guys are going to take this risk at your own. Take it at your own risk, if you will. So I'm going to go ahead and start to peel this. And like I said, if it's me, I only recommend that you guys let it completely cool first. So we're going to peel off our first one. And the pastel colors are adorable. And I'll drop the camera in just a second. So here's our first one. So cute. And like I said, I'll drop the camera so y'all have a, a closer view in just a sec. So let me go ahead and start to peel this side as well. This is the one that you guys voted on. It's okay to not be okay. I absolutely love this. So cute. So let me go ahead and drop the camera really quick so you guys can check these out in a closer view. So it's okay to not be okay. How cute is this? Absolutely perfect. This would be a great teacher's gift. You know, these teachers need these things. The world is a better place with you in it. Like I said, this is perfect for that mom that may be struggling um, postpartum or anything like that. Mental health is very, very important. Um, this would be perfect for that teenage girl, um, anybody, teenage boy that's really struggling with school because we all know how hard it was to go through school. Adorable. This would be so cute to fill it with some candies in a little clear bag would be cute as well, or to put a plant in it. This would be so cute to put a plant in it as well. So I really love the way that this one came out. So you guys let me know, do you guys like this one better? Number one or number two? Let me know if you guys are loving the colors of this. It's absolutely one of my favorites. So I'm gonna let this guy cool down and we'll finish that Q&A. Do we have any other questions here? Let's go ahead and see. Uh, so is the confetti permanent? Yes, the confetti is permanent. Now, when you press this, and I'm not sure what it is. I'm not um, super pro at screen print, but uh, whenever you first press it, you may notice a piece or two fall off, and that's okay. It just didn't get a good press. So what my beliefs are is I don't know if you're supposed to or if it makes a difference um, on what side that screen print confetti. I would say no because it's just the ink, but maybe it has less stick from the side that was stuck to the film it was designed on, if you will. So um, any little pieces that fall off, like this one, for example, I just kind of go through as I'm working, but anything else that's went down, it's good to go for. It's going to outlast this little guy here. Um, screen print does have the history of cracking and doing those kind of things. It'll just kind of become a vintage look over time. All right, let's see, is that a Cricut mug or an off-brand? This is actually a Cricut mug. So you can always tell a Cricut mug because it says it right there on the bottom. I love their mugs. And I honestly, to be honest, I have found um, them to be one of the best deals on the market when they're on sale. So I really like to buy them in big bundles. Like I can't, I have so many of them at the house now. But when I first started purchasing them, I think you can get them in like 46 pack or 50 pack Joann's has all of the time. They have them like half off. So I highly would recommend check them out. I'm wanting to do those stackable Cricut mugs for you guys very soon. And I have found those are a little bit cheaper over on Joann's compared to anywhere else. So always check Joann's whenever it comes to buying these mugs. And like I said, they have sales and I think they're like 50% off. They even have an off brand they sell to, but I have found that the Cricut mugs are so nice. All right, let's see. Crystal, have you ever put the design on upside down? multiple times. I have put it on backwards and I have put it on upside down so many times I can't even count. There's been so many videos that I've actually made and created and I didn't even notice until I went back to edit it or we've actually uploaded it and then one of you guys have said something but I have put them I didn't I forgot to mirror or um you know I've put it upside down for sure. Let's see. I think that was our very last question. Are you guys ready for a giveaway? Let's do it. All right. First of all, I want to say thank you to everybody for hanging out today. I know it was a little bit of a mess because I had to go over to the bigger press. You could definitely pull the same thing off with your Crooked Easy press. So definitely feel free to do so. So good luck to everybody. Let's go ahead and get ready to draw. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the draw button here and hit go. Good luck, everybody. I'm so excited for you guys to be playing with this bundle. Good luck to everybody that has um, tried to enter. Jacqueline, congratulations. Thank you for watching here on YouTube. We are so excited to have you. All you have to do to claim this is reach out to Mel at designbundles.net. Let them know that you want on the live today and claim your bundle. You can start crafting with this 
today. It is a ton of fun. Um, and once again, congratulations. Send that email out to mel at designbundles.net. So once again, I just want to tell you all, thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed all of these crafts today. And if you guys are still enjoying the fun, head on over to our TikTok because in about 10 minutes, you guys will catch me live over there. I'll see you guys on the next one.